Hello everyone, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for subscribing to the T-Crane YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my videos and for being here. I'm so happy to be able that I can share all this information about Japanese tea and tea ceremony with you. And in this video, I have a quiz that I want you to think about and that we can playfully together um, go and solve. In the meantime, you'll also learn a little bit about the tea ceremony. But first, I of course want to uh, tell you if you're not yet subscribed to the Tea Crane, please hit the subscribe button down there. Um, if you want to stay updated of new notifications on new videos, new um, things that come out, then also hit that bell and um, you'll be notified whenever there is something new on this channel. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. In this video, as I, as I told you, I'm going to ask you to solve the following quiz. And it's related to the previous video. So if you haven't seen the previous video about the tea ceremony, the service of nested bowls, which means two tea bowls that are in each other, and you use those tea bowls to uh, create sort of an, uh, a successive loop of tea bowls coming and going, and you keep making as many bowls as there are guests. So you could, for example, with those two bowls, make four or five um, bowls of tea for the guests and as long as the bowls continue coming back when you set out in, um, a new bowl the host will continue making uh, bowls of tea so it's an endless loop that can be created with um, those uh, two nested tea bowls and it's a very interesting um, service so first if you haven't seen it yet go and have a look at the um, previous video uh, take a look at that service of tea and um, then come back to this video because in this video we are going to answer the following questionnaire which is um, there are three main differences and I want to uh, want you to look for all three main differences in the service of tea when I make the tea uh, for the first guest and the tea bowls for the second third and the successive guests because there are major differences between when I make tea for the first guest and for the successive guests so I'm going to show you the part where I make tea for the first guest and have a look at it memorize it and see what I do and then next we'll go and have a look at the successive bowls for the second guest the third guest and I hope you can figure out the differences. So here we go. This is the first uh, bowl of tea.
All right, great. So that speaks for itself. Um, next, we'll have a look at the second ball for the second guest. See what's different and try to guess the three main differences between the first and uh, this one. So, how did that go? Did you get three differences? Did you get one? Did you get all of them? How did it go? Let me know in the comments. Um, pause the video, type in the comments what you thought were the differences and then afterward when I give you the answers you can go back to your comment and write another comment on it um, saying which, were the diff which you got right, which you were uh, wrong about or um, which you thought you had but weren't really sure about, that kind of stuff. So. Uh, let's play a bit around in, uh, in the comments so I can also know what you um, figured out and <clears throat> what, uh, what you missed out. So we can have a little conversation about that. So write down in the comments what you thought were the differences and here are the three main differences. The first difference is for the first guest, when I make the tea, I make a water mixing motion before I scoop the whole ladle full of water to pour into the tea bowl. This water mixing motion is done to even out the temperature in the kettle because the bottom might be hotter than the um, top part and you want to even out that temperature. That will make for a better and a more delicious bowl of tea. So for the first guess you take the care into uh, making this motion. But for the second guest and the third guest and all the successive guests from there on, this water mixing motion is left out. So you take a whole ladle of water immediately um, without mixing the water. The second difference is for the first guest, when I go and get the tea scoop and the tea caddy, I first get the tea scoop, then get the tea caddy and bring them to um, in front of me separately. Whereas for the second guest, I go and get them simultaneously. I want to get them as quickly as possible because these abbreviations, they are made because the second, the third, the fourth guest, these guests are waiting for their bowl of tea while the first guest is already having his or hers. So what you want to do is to make sure that you get the bowls of tea as quickly as possible to them. So you make these abbreviations. The first abbreviation, the second abbreviation, and importantly, the third abbreviation. For the first guest, when I scoop the tea into the tea bowl and have done that, I open the tea up to the right a little bit, then give one tap, lay the tea scoop on the rim of the bowl, get out my fuxa, and cleanse the rim of the tea caddy, then replace the lid, put the tea caddy away, get the tea scoop from the rim again, and open up the tea powder to the side a little more, give two taps, conclude, and also place the tea scoop back. This is a very long process and it's very time consuming. So for the successive guests, this is abbreviated. 
And what is what happens is after I've inserted the tea into the tea bowl, I open up the tea powder to the right, give two taps immediately. With the tea scoop still in my hand, I get a hold of the lid of the tea caddy, put it back on the tea caddy, and return the tea scoop and the tea caddy immediately, simultaneously. And that way I can get this process done with as quickly as possible while still maintaining the necessary due diligence um, to make sure that the bowl of tea is as delicious as the bowl for the first guest. But technically speaking, all this done, the first guest is always the most important person in the room. So you give a special care to the bowl that you make for the first guest and then, as I said earlier, the second and all successive guests of course are kept waiting so you want to get the tea to them as quickly as possible. These were the three main differences between making a bowl for the first guest and making the bowls of tea for the successive guests. So were you able to guess <coughs> the differences? What, which ones did you write down in the comments? Let me know um, and we'll continue the discussion there. Now just before you go if you haven't subscribed yet to uh, my channel subscribe or click the subscribe button down below and if you want to keep informed of new updates hit that bell and um, the bell somewhere down there um, and then you will be notified of new videos when they are on so hope to see you here again and um, i enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed it too see you again soon keep enjoying the tea drink matcha every day and um, stay healthy